Oh my goodness. Well, good morning. It's Jesse here from BC Fishing Journal. You probably can't see me very well right now because it's first light. It is 4.45 a.m. It's end of June. The sun won't rise for another, it's supposed to be another half an hour. So I'm already on the water. I was out here at, uh, I think I got up at like 3.45 and I, I can't sleep. When I know I'm going fishing the next day, I really can't sleep. So really it was broken sleep. So I thought, get down to the ramp, get out here early. So I'm out here early. The purpose of today is uh, to troll for salmon. And um, uh, yeah, I really want to give it a good go for coho in particular. I'm targeting hatchery coho and just again out in front of my local uh, waters here. All right, thanks again for coming along and watching these videos and uh, hopefully we get lucky today. Let's get to it. Let's see the bait balls on the surface just bubbling. Can you see that? Might be hard to see that. Look at that, sunrise. Whew, not up yet. Still got some time. I'm gonna start trolling as I go. Let's get this started here. This morning I am starting with a skinny G spoon and my green flasher. Got the name of this one, just your classic green glow, whatever. I forget the name. Let's see how that thing rolls. But she looks good. Oh, she looks good. When the sun peaks up, I think that thing is going to be deadly. Good. All right, we're fishing, we're trolling. Seven feet of water, and there's marks. I'm kind of wondering if it's on my setup now. Kind of expect to be getting a hit. Yeah, I'll just do a quick check. Yeah, I, oh, I had a shaker on the whole time. No wonder I wasn't catching fish. I knew there was something on there. Well, this is a hatchery. A little smolt. <laughs> I knew I was in a good spot and I felt like I should be hitting fish. That's pretty funny. It wasn't seaweed, in fact, it was a fish. It was a little free rider. I have no fish around here, though. that's for sure. Beyond fishy right now, I'm telling you. Like here, look at that. Can you see that? I don't even know if you can see that. Going to... Don't call me. Oh, I had another... Sh oh, my goodness. Well, are we surprised? Ah, no wonder I can't get a fish. I keep getting these little shakers. Get lost. We've been getting smolts. They've been smolts have been riding for who knows where, for how long. Every time we pull the lines up, we got a smolt on, which is really frustrating because it doesn't pop the clip. You don't know. <sighs> and then you got to reset all your gear, which is really irritating. But Big. What 
Oh, oh geez, he's in my down rear. Shoot. This could be a coho. Oh, geez. In the. Oh, my gosh, that was crazy. That was nuts. Oh, that sucked. That was a bad. But we got him. It is a. Let's see what we got. Oh, jeez. Oh. See? We get rid of the shakers. Oh man, I'm glad I decided to net that guy. Okay. Let's see. It looks like a coho. It is a coho. And it is a hatchery coho. Oh my gosh. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. We got ourselves. Oh no, it's wild. Sorry, it's wild. Shoot, it's coho though. Shoot, it is a coho. Is it clipped? Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, darn it. Okay, shoot. I'm going to get you. Okay, sorry. Sorry, bud. Oh, shoot. Yeah, this is a coho. Ah, so we can't keep this guy. But that's a coho. There he is. He's got the wild mark there. So I'm going to get this guy going right away. Uh, oh, we just let him go. Uh, shoot, I thought it was a hatchery at first. I didn't see that. When I pulled him in, when I pulled him in, I, I thought it was uh, an adipose clipped fin. But, hey, that's a coho, ladies and gentlemen, though. That's a coho. That's a good sign. That's the, that's the target species. So sure, we don't get to keep it. But that's the target species. That's what we're here for. Now, let's see if I can find one with a clipped adipose fin. Ew. <laughs> Skinny G represent. All right, no smolts for me. You really gotta go down quick, I think. That was the trick on that one. Oh, I gotta bring up my cannonball. What am I doing? I don't have a cannonball up. Yes, that makes me so happy. We're doing something right. Oh, beautiful. Do you love that smell? What's better than the smell of fish? Oh, yeah. I love it. All right, we're fishing in about 90 feet of water now. 90 feet depth and 200 feet of water. So my downrig is at, I think 90, which is the depth, probably the deepest I've ever been. It's pretty cool. The thing about the spoon is you have a longer leader line. So when your flasher's at the top, you really got to time that well with the net. That's why I like actually the longer net. Longer net in the kayak. But it's a bit of a beast to sometimes get around, but it kind of acts as like almost like a flag too, which is kind of nice. But uh, I like the longer net. Stuff like that for those long leaders. Right on, those guys just caught a coho. Looks like a coho. That's a Chinook though. Oh, we're too close to that thing. Well, that's cool though. I mean, always fun fighting the fish. Oh, 
Oh, we got a fish in there. We got a fish in there. As soon as I stopped, I slowed down. He was there. Oh, cool. cool. What are you? Feels like getting down. Could be enough. Feels decent though. Oh, is it pulling? Oh, a nice fish. Nice fish. Ah. Okay. I think we can get this guy. He's in the, whew, all right, it's a trickier net job when you're, oh, doing this, what is this thing, looks like a coho, oh, this is a big coho, hold on a second here, this could be a big hatch, hold on a second, oh, god. be a coho, oh, I think this is a big coho, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is a coho, Go! Cool. Yes! Huge one! Oh, Kidina! Now let's see if it's a hatch. I can't see his tails are in the bottom. Ah, my thing is. Oh, Kidina. Oh, let's get this. Oh, it's big. It looks. It's a hatchery. Oh my gosh, it's a hatchery coal. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm shaking. This is it, boys. The fish we've been waiting for. I just wanna double check one more time. Yeah, this is a hatchery, hatchery coho. Oh wow, oh wow. Okay, I'm gonna just bonk this guy really quickly here. This is, this is not, okay. Okay. Oh. Okay, Donna, thank you, Lord. Look at this fish. Look at this fish! Big Atri Coho! <laughs> He's giant! Oh, 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 Kidina. Look at this specimen. Oh, Hatchery. Oh. Oh my goodness. This is a special fish again. Another milestone fish. Wow. That is beautiful. This has got to be, oh, I don't know. This has got to be six pounds, eh? Six, seven? That's a good size fish. That's a great size coho. I'm going to bleed him. Good quality meat, you gotta bleed the fish. There she goes. Oh. Wow. That's a nice fish. I'm in shock right now. Oh, right in front. I'm feeling good. I am feeling good. Wow, I'm on cloud nine right now, guys. It's a special fish. Again, another milestone fish. Huge. I'm get another one I'm on my way home. Ooh, the smell of the coho. It smells good. Okay, we are back. My battery died, so I'm doing this on my iPhone here. It was a great trip for Coho. We achieved our goal to get Coho. We caught some wild, we caught a hatchery, which uh, was a beautiful Coho. And uh, actually, I'm gonna show it right now. Here he goes, here's the uh, hatchery Coho. So he is about uh, 24 and a half. There he is. Here's the fish for dinner. Beautiful. This is my least favorite part about the uh, things. You gotta 
water everything down. Everything gets white watered down, rinsed off. All right, well, thanks very much for watching another episode of BC Fishing Journal. I'm Jesse, and we'll see you in the next one.